Hey guys, it's me again. And today, what I want to do is I want to read. I want to give you my thoughts on this article I found on BusinessInsider.com. The headline reads: Millennials have a new attitude about cleavage that for, that's forcing restaurant Hooters to close locations and change its strategy. I don't know why you need to change anything. Because that's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. And I don't care that I'm saying this. And this was written by Miss Mrs. Kate Taylor on August 16, 2017 at 1.37 in the afternoon that day. And she goes on and, and she says, um, let's see. She says... Millennials have less interested are less interested in breasts than their elders. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? They're less interested. Gee, I can't imagine why. Could it be because they're you know basically so rap they basically have their heads so far up their asses all the time? That couldn't possibly be it. No, 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 no. And as you can see, here's basically, you know, the way, you know, a certain restaurant used to be. People from the ages of 18 to 24 are less 19, are less, I mean, damn it. People from the ages of 18 to 24 are 19% less likely to search for breasts on porn websites like Pornhub. Compared to all other age groups, according to an analysis conducted by the website. You gotta be fucking kidding me. You've gotta be kidding me on this one. <sighs> For comparison, port of visitors are from the ages of 55. I mean, porn of visitors from the ages of 55 to 64 are 17% more likely to search for breast-related content. You have got to be fuck. You have got to be fucking kidding me on this one. 55 to 64 year olds are 17% more likely to conduct a search for breast-related content. You fucking idiot. Millennials porn. References seem to be a part of a wider trend. Really? Really? You're out of your mind for saying that. At the moment, larger breasts are out, though I'm sure they'll come back. They'll come back. Sarah Peterson, professor of communications and media at Robert Gordon University, told Playboy, of course. It's some dumb bitch from a from a university who literally is stupid as fuck. We tend to react what went before. Yeah, basically getting rid of things the way they should be. For restaurants like Hooters and Twin Peaks, a loss of interest in in breasts is bad for business. The number of Hooter lo- Hooters locations in the U.S. has dropped by more than 7% from 2012 to 2016, and sales have stagnated, according to industry reports. Really? Gee, that couldn't possibly be because millennials have screwed everything up. No, could it? Yeah, that could be it. That couldn't possibly be it. Now, could it? And here's and here's one way that they screwed everything up. Thank you very much. Part of Hooters struggles part part of Hooters struggles are tied to the sales slumps that are hitting its that are that is hitting most sit down casual dining chains. What the fuck is she talking about here? But a lack of interest in waiters in waitresses cleavage, really. Especially when there are restaurants like Twin Peaks promising more scandalous experiences elsewhere likely isn't helping. Gee, that couldn't be because, you know, 
these idiots can't, these idiots just can't be bothered, you know, to, um, I don't know, just keep their nose out of other people's business. Hooters is struggling to win over millenniums. Hooters has struggled to win over millenniums for some time now. In 2012, the chain attempted to revamp its image with updated decor and new menu items to attract millennium, more millennial and female customers. Um, that doesn't make any sense. That does not make any sense at all. No, it doesn't. Do you see now the problem here, people? Hmm? When you update something and you add new things that are not needed, you know what happens? Boom! It doesn't work. And they wanted to attract mo more millennial and female customers. Um, they do know that, you know, they do realize that what they're doing is going to drive away the customer base that, you know, actually wants to go there, which is guys, maybe some women, I don't know. But that, but that right there is the problem. That right there is the problem. For years, for years, they've only been working towards Generation X. Thank you very much. But now they are trying to get millennials to come to the door. Good luck with that. Darren Trist, Tristano, Tristano, a food industry consulting company, Tech, Technomic, told Time in 2012. Of course you did. In light of the decline of breast influence in America, it comes as no surprise that Hooters has been emphasizing catering and opening up a fast casual location with fully clothed servers, women and men. Of course it has. While porn habits may change, millennials still love chicken wings. As far as I'm concerned, this is the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard I've ever seen in my life. People, why do things need to change? Hmm? Exactly. They don't need to because if you change things that actually, you know, work, it's not going to work anymore. And therein lies the problem. All I'm, all I'm saying is this is ridiculous and basically you shouldn't be doing this crap. So guys, what do you think? Do you think Hooters wasn't the right to change to do this change, or do you think maybe they ought to just stick to stick to a strategy that actually works? Because clearly, clearly, them changing things is not working, and this is another reason why I say change doesn't work. Because when you change things for the when you change things for the better. Chances are, you ain't making it better. You're only making it worse, people. So go ahead and like, comment. I mean, to give me your thoughts, of course. And share this video around if you guys feel so inclined to. And click that bell to be notified pop for possible future videos because I'm still working on my decision. And guys, remember, get your, va get your vaccines. Get your boosters. And guys, till next time.